offseason goes on with more NBA preseason action. The Spaniard, Pau Gasol, and the Los Angeles Lakers go up against the Phoenix Suns and their playmaking marvel, two-time most valuable player, Steve Nash. Los Angeles, Phoenix. Up next. The Lakers' secret weapon, Pau Gasol, arriving earlier today. And here we go, the NBA preseason getting underway. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. It's a happy hometown crowd here at the U.S. Airways Center. The Phoenix Suns are home. It's time for them to put all that work on the practice court to use as they get ready for their first game of the preseason. And for the players, this is a big moment. I mean, training camps are coming to a close. All the off-season speculation and rumors died down. And they can simply get back to doing what they love and concentrating on what they love, which is playing the game of basketball. There's nothing better than that when you're actually one of the players. So Phoenix will get the first possession. And now the Lakers starting group. Powell and Bynum filling up the middle. Kobe and Artest are the wingmen. And Fisher. Kobe against Richardson. Doubled by Bynum. Clock at four. Stolen away. He got caught napping. You've got to pay attention and protect the ball. Moments ago, our Doris Burke caught up with Phil Jackson. Doris? Guys, he could hardly contain his excitement as he took the floor. Even though it's just game one of the preseason, he said that just to be back on the bench for an NBA game feels like Christmas morning to him. It's clear the offseason has been a long one. Open the presents, gentlemen. Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. Something of a domination last season. You look back and the Lakers just took it to the rest of the Pacific Division in every way. No doubt about it. I mean, they were the cream of the crop out west. And it all starts with how they handled their divisional play. Again, mindset, consistency of attitude and effort. And when you do that, the wins find a way of piling up for you. Here's Fisher. 50 seconds left in the first. Kobe against Richardson. Martez kicks to Gasol. Takes it up. And laid up and in. Gasol's got his first two points of the night. You know, there aren't many players who won't finish that close to the hoop. It's Richardson on the wing, guarded by Kobe. Nice bucket there. He isn't naturally quick, but he's deceptive. He kept the defense off balance and then took it to the rack. So it's the Lakers now. Just opportunity here in the preseason to go up against Phoenix. Well, you know, they beat these guys pretty good when they played last season. It's a real confidence booster going into this one. Back to our test. Jacks up the triple. The shot by Kobe, no good. There's the horn, and it's tied as the first quarter ends. Lakers on top. Coming up next Monday, Darren Williams and the Utah Jazz go up against Brandon Roy and the Portland Trailblazers. Live from Portland, it's the real deal. And it's been a tight game as the second quarter gets going. Here's Blake. You just can't overstate how important those matchups between the top conference teams are. Well, there's always a lot at stake, Kevin. You want to get that good seed in the spring? Both these teams know every game is going to be a battle. And it, these players think about that. They, oh, they, yes. They know about the seeding. They sure yeah. do. They've got it in their mind. So the Lakers five right now. Kobe and Artest are the wingmen. Odom at the four and Powell at the five. And Phoenix has possession. Mar Odom unable to get his shot to go. You think about all the names that have gotten away from the Suns through draft pick sales and trades, and you have to wonder how deep this team could be, Clark, if they had kept some of those picks. Well, I'm not one to look back, but just for the sake of argument, I mean, they <laughs> sold picks that turned into loot. Oh, and the champ by Kobe Bryant. 
Here's the angle on our Sprite Slam Cam. Excellent defense, and the steal earns him a quick bucket in transition. Here's Nash. 109 left in the second. Here's Richard. Oh! I think it's safe to say that that'll be the dunk of the night, Kevin. Well, who doesn't love to see that kind of finish? We all do. No good, and they don't get the three-point play. The Lakers in the lead. They host the Kings after this game. Good execution on the break leads to the nice bucks. Here's Nash. Guarded by Blake. Now here's Nash. Tight defense on him. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Here's Blake. We'll see what the coach has drawn up. Will they opt for the quick shot? Richardson against Kobe. Fires from 14. They retain and finish off by Gasol. Some changes for Phoenix. Robin Lopez is checked in for Fry. Dudley comes in for Jason Richardson. And it's Drogic in for Steve Nash. And he completes the three-point play. Here's Drogic. 28 seconds left in the half. Here's Dudley. Five to shoot. Drajic backs in. A three. Dudley, no luck. Find him with it. It's hard to make a pinpoint pass from that far away. He couldn't get a hold of it. And so we wrap up the first half. Take a look at what Kobe's done. He's got five points, and he's been able to hit the three ball, picking up one from deep so far. The NBA, here on 2K Sports. And welcome everyone, HB Halftime Report is here as we cover the start of the NBA's preseason. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against the Suns out at U.S. Airways Center. They let them hang around so far, now it's anybody's ball game. Hal Gasol getting it done early. He's got five points, also added a couple of rebounds. And the Suns going all out. They're scoring with confidence, shooting with an excellent percentage. Some great work out there by Jay Rich. He ended up with a few points and has gone to work on the glass, grabbing a few rebounds. A look at a pair of names we figured would be leading the way, neither putting up their normal averages. NBA action just getting started here. A look at what's on deck for later tonight. The Los Angeles Clippers up against the Trailblazers in Portland. They'll try to work out the kinks in a little preseason matchup. That game gets going at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific. And later tonight, another game on tap over at American Airlines Center. The Mavericks will face off against the Wizards. And as the quarter begins, both teams have been trading blows like prize fighters. A close ball game. Lakers leading by four. One thing the Lakers and the Phoenix Sun share, Clark, is that they both had the best in-conference records with 35 wins apiece. Boy, it's hard to believe that, that both of these teams knew how to get it done on the road last year. I mean, that just is very impressive. It's a credit to the coaching staff and to those players because winning on the road, Kevin, is a mindset. It's a mindset that a team has to have to be consistent winners on the road. And that's impressive when you look at those numbers from those two teams. And typically, your bench does not play as well on the road as they will at home because the home crowd yep. will energize your bench. Particularly if you're a young team. Yes. If you have young bench players, that emotion is really important to the level of their play. The more experienced your team, the less of a factor it is. A 
Hakeem Warwick and Robin Lopez in the middle. Jason Richardson and Hito Turkoglu at the two and the three. And Nash. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Sun. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has some info for us. Doris, take it away. Guys, there were a lot of questions about whether last season would be Phil Jackson's final one, whether he'd retire. After they won the title and he set a record for most coaching championships, he said he was leaning towards retiring. He decided to return, though, saying, count me in. After a couple of weeks of deliberation, it's time to get back to the challenge of putting together a team that can defend its title. It'll be the last stand for me, and I hope it's a grand one. Guys, good to have him back. It certainly is. Thank you, Doris. Here's Gasol. Sinks it. Gasol's got seven points in the game. Thinking about the Lakers, Clark, and the Suns in the Western Conference, not surprising. Those were the two teams that got to the conference finals in the postseason. No surprise there. I mean, you aren't going to advance in the playoffs by only winning games at home. We just talked about that. Good teams, championship contending teams are going to win on the road because they're tough-minded and they don't shy away from the challenge of being able to go on the road and get important wins. Tough-minded, that's a good phrase to use because that truly is a huge component of winning on the road. Mindset is critical. And that's the end of the quarter and a neck-and-neck -neck game we've watched so far through three. Coming up this Saturday night, LeBron James and the Miami Heat go up against Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs, the NBA preseason. And now let's send it to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark of the game. Doris. Hi, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Suns that garners the Sprite Spark today. They made their move in the third quarter with their great defense propelling them on an impressive run, gentlemen. Great, Doris. That big scoring run being a difference maker, Clark, in this game. Well, it often comes in spurts, Kevin. Spurtability is what I call it, and that's what happened today. Taking a look at the Lakers. Steve Blake and Kobe Bryant in the back. Howe and Bynum filling up the middle. And Barnes. Here's Dragic, guarded by Kobe. Shot clock at three. Let's go with a three. Nash can't get it to go. That's dangerous living, giving a shooter a look like that. I bet he doesn't miss that shot the next time they give it to him. Back to Bryant, 18 feet away. Yes, and it's Blake picking up the assist. Despite his ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options, which you have to have when one of your main guys is struggling. Turkaloo against Barnes. Goes up. The shot is off. Some solid defense from Gasol. Here's Blake, defended by Nash. And here is Barnes. Here's Kobe. Again, the miss by Kobe. He hasn't been able to contribute as well as he wanted to. But in spite of that, they still have the lead, and that's a good sign. Less than one minute left. Nash outside. Back to Turkaloo. Now Drugic. And Fry backs in. They couldn't beat the buzzer. That's a turnover. So for the Suns, Hill comes in for Channing Fry. And it's Richardson in for Goran Dragic. The Lakers also making some changes. Lamar Odom has checked in for Bynum. Our test comes in for Matt Barnes. And Derek Fisher is subbed in for Steve Blake. Here's Fisher. This is a crucial possession for him. A lot at stake here. Shot and game clock separated by five. Defended by Nash. Fisher with the ball. Down low, Kobe Richardson cover. Bryant kept alive. That's why he's got the reputation as one of the NBA's great rebounders. Because of put back like that. Well, that's what we've become accustomed to when he gets in position under the glass like that. Here's Hill. Can't connect to force overtime. And so it's the Lakers who've come out on top here. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end.